morning. Welcome back to the channel. Um, figured I'd take you guys along here on my drive to work this morning. I'm uh, going to be traveling down to our southern office, so I've got a uh, good hour drive ahead of me. Um, figured I'd take this opportunity to talk a little more about the channel, a little more about myself, some experience here, and uh, you know, kind of why I'm here. Um, what brought me to YouTube and uh, where I kind of want to end up with YouTube here. Um, so I am a maintenance manager, um, but prior to uh, actually going into management, um, I had about seven, roughly eight years of working on industrial air compressors. Um, by industrial air compressors, I mean they were uh, powered by 535 horsepower uh, Caterpillar uh, C15s, and they um, they produced about 350 psi a compressor uh, at 1170 cfm. Um, we have a few compressors that run a little higher, but uh, you know just just volume, not pressure. But uh, so, anyways. Um, my company, we are a, uh, a ground level support rental company for uh, the oil field, uh, gas, well actually gas field. So um, we'll take six up to eight of these compressors and we'll feed them into two other machines called boosters and uh, they do exactly what their name says, is they, uh, they boost the pressure. So compressors are good for volume, the CFM. The boosters are good for moving the CFM and moving the volume, but it takes the 350 psi and you know, it's a, it has a max potential of about 1400 psi. So, in this older configuration that's going on, you know, we're, we're running in excess of you know, say 6500 CFM, clean up to 78 8000 CFM uh, at 1200 psi. So, um very, very uncommon kind of specialized field. So that's kind of where my background is. Um, you know, I, like I said, I, I worked on those and that stuff for uh, seven to eight years. Had the opportunity to move into management and you know, kind of share my uh, share my knowledge of the equipment with, uh, with anybody else that uh, you know we, we hired there at Great Plains. Um, that's my company that I work with. So. Um, that's a little bit of a background. Uh, prior to that, um, it was just college education at the uh, University of Northwestern Ohio. Graduated high school. Um, you know, I'm not really that old. I'm uh, going to be 31 here in about a week, two weeks. So, um, you know, every. I don't want to say YouTube is a fad, um, but you know it's it's definitely growing in popularity. Uh, just about everybody everybody nowadays has a YouTube channel, um, and uh, you know I mean I don't think I have an overly exciting life, but I don't really think I have a boring life either. Um, I have particular interests in uh, mechanics, diesel, uh, gas, and. Uh, you know, small power sports. I would eventually like to get into, uh, say, maybe drag racing, um, you know, maybe drifting, some road course stuff. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a full-time job, but, uh, you know, that full-time job basically allows me to live. Um, the YouTube, I hope, will allow me to continue to do what I enjoy doing, um, so, you know, that's, that's just basically playing, you know, with, with, uh, grown-up toys, that's, uh, you know, anything with an engine, um, and eventually, uh, the idea is that, uh, between YouTube and other opportunities, you know, I'll be able to start to afford, um, doing some more of that, some, uh, some more of the interesting stuff. Um, you know, and, and start branching out to some new experiences, and uh, so you know that's 
that's what I hope YouTube actually gives me the opportunity to do was uh, you know provide entertainment and also gain more experience for myself um, you know So yeah, like I said, it's it's about an hour drive. Um, I got you guys set up here on the dash, completely hands free, not holding anything, you know, safe. Um, I mean, I am in the work wagon today, so uh, uh, I definitely have to follow all company policies while I'm in here. No cell phone usage, um, remain hands free, avoid distractions, etc. Uh, you know, one, one of the one of the huge things that people I guess overlook is the fact that you know a lot of a lot of the industry, a lot of these companies, uh, you know, we're, we're very safety orientated. Uh, we wouldn't be able to continue to operate if we weren't. And so you know they think that we just run around like cowboys. Uh, you know, cut people off, we just take up the road, do whatever we want. Think that we own everything, and you know that's that's far far from the case. Uh, you know, 15 years ago it may have been different. But, uh, you know, as far as the oil field goes, gas field, it's uh, a completely different world now. So, yeah, anyways, with uh, the coronavirus and, you know, the, the quote-unquote pandemic that uh, we have going on, um, you know, my industry's slow. Uh, I went from managing a team of 11 to 12 guys, uh, now I am uh, right about four, maybe five, uh, with one of my only one um, original team members from, you know, those 11 guys, just because everything has slowed down so much, uh, you know, the, the company had to reduce the size uh, in order to survive, and, uh, it isn't that much of a demand. Um, so that's another thing that's allowing me to go on with this venture with YouTube is that um, although I am on call 24-7 and, uh, you know, I got day shift guys, night shift guys, and I don't necessarily have relief for the weekends, um, work inherently is slow, so I've got a little bit of extra time. Now the the other side of that is, is all okay. So I got no idea where I left off. Uh, my uh, my wife just called, had a short conversation with her. She's probably gonna call again and interrupt. Um, but you know, it's that's part of having a relationship, being uh, being married, and uh, you know, you always gotta set your priorities. Uh, I struggle with that sometimes. I uh, absolutely like to do what I'm doing and not be interrupted, but uh, the reality of it is, is that, uh, you know, you, you never know how much time you have, you know, so um, you just, uh, you make time for people that you love. So uh, rolling into that, you know, like I said, I'm almost 31 now here in about two weeks. I uh, got a wife. And we actually just had our first child, a uh, little girl, and uh, she is absolutely amazing. Um, so, you know, you might ask, what more can I really ask for, you know? You know I, got, I got a good job, you know, she's got a good job, we've got a beautiful little daughter, and, uh, you know, why am I trying to get more out of life? We live pretty humbly, at least I think we do. Uh, you know, absolutely, we are blessed. We've, we've definitely got some more than, uh, than most people. Um, but, you know, that comes with responsibilities. That comes with a bunch of debt. And, uh, you know, we, we just we, we manage it. And uh, that also means that sometimes there's times that we can't do what we want to do. Um, and, you know, we may not have that little extra spending money. But, uh, you know, we're comfortable, um, you know, our daughter doesn't go without, we're happy, and, uh, so, you know, like I said, really, what more can I ask for, and, uh, it's not really that I want more, um, you know, but, uh, it, it 
it's not really the material thing, it's, it's the experience. Um, you know, I, I'm not an overly active person, but I like to be busy. I like to have projects, I like to keep my mind engaged. And so, when I am building, or when I'm repairing, or, uh, you know, otherwise just fixing something, it gives my mind an out. Um, you know, in, in the background, I really wish I would have been an engineer. Now, the reality of it is, is that I'm not that great at math. And when it comes to engineering, um, you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be spot on between math and physics and all that other jazz. And although I've got a mind, at least I believe I've got a mind, that's my own interpretation, that, um, can kind of extrapolate all that without all the fancy numbers, without all the, the, the fancy, you know, education. Uh, the reality of it is, is that, you know, what I build doesn't break, but that's probably just because of I overbuild it. You know, it's, it's, the beauty of engineering is that you, you set a goal and then you make something that is going to achieve that goal. But while you're doing it, you have to make sure that it is, you know, user friendly. It is uh, checking all the boxes, you know, say it can't be too heavy, it can't be too light, um, and it can't cost an arm and a leg, you know, and on the flip side is, is that like if, if I want to build something I know it needs to last, uh, I can almost always justify the cost, uh, that's very dangerous by the way, uh, very dangerous. Um, that's how you end up in a bunch of debt. And, uh, you know, I would be a totally different person and have a totally different lifestyle if, uh, if I hadn't met my wife and, um, you know, I hadn't actually set some roots down and, uh, you know, kind of grew up a little bit, you know, and that always been, say, mature, but, uh, uh, as far as money-wise, I was paycheck to paycheck. If uh, if I paid my bills, anything that was left in the bank, they went towards truck parts. And um, so I had a very nice vehicle, um, had flaws, but uh, you know, I had the best of the best, you know. And uh, I didn't have two pennies to rub together in my savings account. Um, so that changed. Priorities changed, and that's not a bad thing. But uh, but like I said, that's, that's what I hope to reobtain with YouTube is that uh, I can provide entertainment, uh, provide knowledge, and uh, you know my share my experiences along the way, and uh, you know maybe inspire somebody else to do the same. You know, uh, it's it's a great opportunity. There is absolutely work, there is absolutely effort that is involved with it, and, uh, you know, if anybody tells you different, uh, they're lying to you. Uh, you know, I mean, at this point, I'm only, like, five videos deep, and, um, I can tell you, just in five videos, that, uh, there's time, there's effort, and there's absolutely money you have to put into it to achieve, you know, your goals, but, uh, but that's anything in life, honestly. Um, you know, if, if you buy a house, you take on a renovation project, you know, some sort of home improvement project, or uh, simply just taking care of your yard. That takes money, you know, buying the mower, buying, you know, the supplies, the gas, the time, the materials, the labor. Um, uh, nothing in life is free. things in life can be obtained just by the sweat of your brow, you know, hard work. So, uh, you know, just don't hesitate. Um, you know, the, the purpose of this video is that uh, I started pumping out videos, um, recording some of the stuff that I was doing because I had to do it and it needed done and uh, this wasn't going to get started if I didn't do it. So, 
little bit of cart before the horse is that, uh, you know, I start throwing my videos out of the internet. Nobody knows who I am, what I am. Um, you know, they're just random videos now. And so, as you can tell, I'm, I tend to like to talk. Uh, I like to communicate. It's, it's not really so much that, uh, that I'm boring or that, you know, I enjoy talking. It's just that uh, I like to be very clear. Um, huge pet peeve of mine. Um, I don't know how many times I've been through life and ran into situations where something could be so much easier if there was just a little more detail, a um, little more information, and, you know, you weren't stuck wondering, asking, or just generally having questions. Uh, so, but I, I ramble, you know, and uh, I know that doesn't necessarily bode well for people's attention spans, um, so... Really, I uh, hope you guys make it through this video, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm able to keep your guys' attention. Hope you guys uh, stick with me, um, you know, subscribe, so that uh, as I continue to do more stuff, as I continue to grow, uh, you know, you guys can see what's going on. Follow me, and, uh, you know, just join in it with me. Um, you know, like I said, if, if you guys have an idea of doing this, something like this, then, uh, then absolutely go ahead, but, you know, it, it does. You, you got to have the time, you got to have the ability and the money and the want to, uh, to you know, start this. Um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm filming this on a GoPro, um, but that is because uh, I intend on taking you guys along with a couple of four-wheeler rides, and, uh, you know, I needed a camera that was going to be uh, tough enough to handle you know, the dirt, the dust, the water, the mud, and, uh, so, you know, that, that was my filming option, um, there's probably cheaper cameras you can start with, for sure, uh, really, if you got a cell phone, you can start with a cell phone, and I contemplated starting with a cell phone, honestly, just so that I didn't have to have such a crazy, um, startup cost, per se, I mean, really, uh, YouTubing is a business. Um, it can be a fun business, but uh, it's it's a business. So you know you gotta kind of treat it like a business. You manage your money. Uh, right now I got nothing coming in, <laughs> and uh, the reality of it is I probably won't have anything coming in for a long time. Um, yeah. So you got to do it because you want to do it. You got to do it because you like to do it. And in the end, there will be rewards. At least that's what you got to tell yourself. Uh, got no one called quits at the same time, but uh, but you definitely can't go into it thinking that uh, you're going to make money instantly. Um, and you might you might get lucky. Uh, you might have something go viral. You might be. Um, this character that, uh, that's just absolutely hilarious, you know, one of those people that, uh, you know, brings an energy into a room no matter where they go, and, uh, you know, that, that may resonate with a lot of people, you know, you provide that kind of entertainment, and, you know, people share you, and you grow, um, that's great, you know, and, The reality of it is not everybody's like that. You know, I'm, I'm not an overly bubbly person. I'm not really a pessimistic person either, but I don't necessarily carry a ton of energy with me. Um, so, you know, not, not not enough to energize anybody else around me. We'll put it that way. And so, um, you know, the, the reality of it is, is this is going to take time. It's going to be work. And uh, the reward's going to be It's going to have its own type of reward. It's not going to be monetary. Um, you know, and if, if you're getting into YouTube strictly for the money, uh, you know, I've, I've heard it time and time again that uh, I'm kind of started for the wrong reasons. Um, you know, do it as a side hustle. Uh, do it as a hobby. Do it because you have 
something to share, um, you know, something to provide. And, uh, you know, that, that also brings me to one of the final reasons that I'm starting a YouTube channel and, you know, I'm trying to uh, achieve something through sharing my life experiences is that, um, you know, when, when you have a job, when you have a nine to five, you know, you, you have this, this little box that, uh, you operate within and, you know, there's rules and, um, you know, you, you always want to find a boss, a company or you know, a job career that, uh, you know, you, where you don't mind operating within those limits. So you don't mind operating in that box. And for me, that's been my company. Um, you know, I've, I've been with them for 11 years now. And uh, I got hired basically straight out of college, six to eight months out of college. And <clears throat> I managed to uh, land this job. Now, I was living in West Virginia with my parents um, right after college. And we were close enough to the Pennsylvania line that they had an office uh, right across the Pennsylvania line. So that's where I went and applied. That's where I went and interviewed. And then I would drive, you know, 45 minutes to an hour every day to work. Um, you know, I uh, started there for th about three months. I reported that office. But one of the terms of my hire was that I was going to relocate and so I relocated to uh, northern Pennsylvania uh, the Mansfield area uh, Sayre right below New York and so um, I was out there for like two and a half or three years and then another opportunity uh, opened up in Ohio so that is where I'm at now and where I've been at probably the past I don't know seven years maybe more. I lost track of time. Um, and so that's why, I, since I've been in Ohio, I mean, that's, that's why I've set roots. Um, you know, Ohio's not fantastic, but, uh, but it's okay. I like it. Um, <laughs> I think everybody feels that way about where they live, honestly. Um, so yeah, anyways, working within this box, uh, you know, I didn't mind the traveling. Um, the hours are kind of crazy sometimes, uh, but I really didn't mind that either. You know, I just I, I like to work. Like I said, I like to keep my mind engaged. And uh, so, working in this box here, uh, although I'm content with it, you know, it, it, it's it's not a hundred percent what I would like to do. having my own business, my own repair shop, but the reality of it is, is that, uh, you know, small businesses, they struggle, and unfortunately, financially, where I'm at, um, you know, there's, there's no good way for me to start up a business um, that would have crazy startup costs, have to be brick and mortar, and then rely on that income to continue to pay my bills. Uh, that, that's, that's just the reality of it. So, you know, ultimately, I want to be able to work for myself. You know, those, those restrictions, those rules, those regulations within that box, um, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing really wrong with them either. I mean, I've, I've survived this company for, you know, 11, almost 12 years now. Um, because it's not a difficult company. You know, there's really good people here. And, uh, you know, it, it's just that I... I would sit at my desk. Um, and I would zone out every now and then in between phone calls and other, you know, tasks and people blowing into my office, etc. Um, and I would just kind of self-evaluate.
evaluate, you know, like, there were some days that I felt like I could definitely contribute more than what was, say, in my wheelhouse, within that box, and, you know, there were some days that I felt like, you know, more than some, actually, but uh, almost constantly, that um, I was wasting time, wasting my life. Um, you know, that, uh, that there was opportunity out there that I wasn't being presented or opportunity that I wasn't taking, rather. Um, you know, the, the reality is that very, very rarely does life actually give you anything. If, uh, if you want change, you have to be the change. Um, if you wait for the change... It's probably not going to be a change you want or the ch a change that you like. And then you're going to hate yourself or hate your situation even more. So, uh, absolutely, you, you, you have to be the change. So, that's what I'm hoping to achieve with YouTube. Um, provide a change. It may never be my primary source of income. But if it can allow me to occupy my time, engage my mind, do something that I enjoy uh, without, per my wife's request, uh, creating financial hardship on us, <laughs> um, that's, uh, what, what do they refer to that to? Is a, a zero sum, you know, a, a one for one exchange. And that's, that's all I'm really after, you know. Um, I don't have ideations of being rich. But, uh, you know, I want to continue to do what makes me happy. And, uh, you know, that's, that's my daughter. That's my wife. That is my hobbies. And, uh... You know, that, that's, that's exactly how I need to prioritize things. Um, you know, like I said earlier, you, you just, you never know how much time you got. You know, you, you just, you gotta be, you gotta be happy with what you have. But by no means does that mean that you can't better yourself and better your family um, that's really about it man you know, I'm kind of tapped out guys I uh, think I've covered pretty much everything the cliff notes of it all is that uh, you know uh, man I don't even know what I talked about well, that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I've still got about, I don't know, another 25 minutes there to the shop. But uh, if I think of anything else, I'll go ahead and get you guys set up and uh, have another conversation on the way back home. Because that'll be another hour drive. Um, got a little off track here and there. Um, you know, driving, your mind wanders. And... Uh, Know, to avoid distraction, I've got no cliff notes here to kind of treat, keep me on track either. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging with me. Like I said, I'll edit this down a little bit, make it a little more digestible, try to stay uh, stay on track with the information, and, uh, um, you know, go ahead and, if you feel like it, subscribe. And uh, that way you continue to get the videos, continue to see what's going on. Maybe a bunch of a bunch of small stuff here in the beginning. Um, you know, maybe nothing terribly interesting, but uh, sure would help me out. Uh, you know, get the channel to grow, and as it grows, hopefully uh, bigger, better things are to come. 